Hello everyone, I'm Matt Evans and welcome to Board Game Replay. Now normally in this series you'd be joining us for a post-game discussion, we'd be talking about various elements of a game, and then cutting back to clips from highlights during that game. But today we're going to be doing something special. We're going to be doing a two-part full game playthrough of Mysterium. Now as you probably noticed, this box does not say Mysterium on it. That is because this is the Polish edition of the game. It's not currently available in North America, so we ordered this directly from the Portal Games website. Now the reason we did this is because this game is language independent. As you can see from the cards laid out in front of me here, the vast majority of the components in this game are just cards with images on them. The only thing that's not language independent is the rulebook, which you can easily just download online. I'll actually put a link in the description here to the copy of the rules that we use to play this game. So there's a couple reasons we chose this game for a full playthrough. Number one, this is a fully cooperative game and everybody's working together. But number two, we think the format of this game would work really well for you as the viewer to play right along with us from home. I'm going to be taking scans of all the cards we use during the game and putting them up on the screen at the appropriate time so you can make your own guesses and, and again, play right along with us. So with that being said, I'm going to explain the rules to this game. But for those of you who are already familiar, I'm going to put a link up here. You can click that, skip right to the gameplay. Alright, so as I mentioned, this is a cooperative game for two to seven players. And this is going to have players taking on the role of psychics going into an old manor to investigate a mysterious haunting that's been happening there. One player is going to take on the role of the ghost that is haunting that, this mansion, and the other players are going to be playing as psychics or investigators going out to this, this mansion to try and solve the mystery. Now the mystery is that there was a murder that took place a hundred years ago, and this ghost was wrongly accused and executed for those crimes. What the ghost is going to do uh, with these psychics is the ghost is going to try to give them images through their dreams to try and reconstruct the events of that night so that they can properly identify the true culprit. Now at the beginning of the game, the ghost player is going to go through and shuffle up all the investigator cards. And there's obviously the characters, the locations, and the items. And they're going to shuffle those up and they're going to draw a certain number based on the player count. We're going to be playing with five players today, one ghost and four investigators. So we're going to draw seven cards and they're all up here on the table. Now you notice down here there's a second set of cards here, these blue cards. These are the ghosts cards and they're identical to each set of the investigators cards as well. There's characters, locations, and items, exactly the same cards. The reason those exist is because the ghost is going to choose a set of cards for each investigator at the table. So you'll notice down here, we've got a character, a location, and an item card for the red player that's already been chosen. And that means that one of those character cards matches one of these characters, and that location card matches one of these locations, and that item matches one of these items. And that's done for each of these players in the game. So each player has a set to try and figure out throughout the game, and that set represents what was going on in the mansion at that time. That person, where they were located, and what they were doing at the time, basically, with, the, with that item. So once the ghost player has chosen a set of cards for each investigator, we can go ahead and start the game. Now the game takes place over seven days, seven nights, or seven rounds. Now each round of the game is basically going to have the players in what's called the events reconstruction phase, which is broken into three smaller phases, which I'll explain one at a time. Uh, the first one is the dream phase, and that's basically the investigators are going to sleep and the ghost is going to be giving them dreams to try and help figure out their sets of cards. The way that works is that the ghost player is going to be drawing seven cards, and he's going to choose any number of them to give to each investigator as clues to try and solve whatever phase of the game they're on. So each player's uh, sheet has, each player's character has these, this little clock token that they can slide to the various things as they figure them out. Everyone at the start of the game is trying to figure out their character, so the ghost will be giving out clues to help each player figure out their character. In subsequent rounds of the game, other players might be in different areas, but we'll get to that in a second. So the ghost is going to choose these cards. He's going to give either one to seven cards to one player, and then he's going to draw his hand back up to seven, and do that for each player trying to give them clues. And once the dream phase is finished, we're going to go on to the oniromancy phase. And that's where each of the investigators are going to study their clues and try to compare them to the characters and try to figure out what the ghost was trying to tell them. The important part about this, as I said, this is a cooperative game, but the ghost isn't allowed to say, gesture, or do anything to give clues outside of just these cards being handed to the players. So they need to look at those cards and try to figure out what the ghost was trying to tell them. And at this point, the investigators can all work together. I mean, each of them have been given an individual clue or clues to try and use for this, but they can all work together and say, you know what, I think I see something that you didn't see, I bet you it's this one. And that's, that's totally cool. Everyone is still working together, it's just that each investigator has been given a, a, certain, a certain set of clues that they need to figure out as well. Once all the players have made their decisions, they're going to take their disc, place it on the card that they believe the ghost is hinting at. And then right after that, we go to the mysterious signs phase, which is basically the ghost just telling the players if they were right or wrong. If an investigator was wrong in their choice, they're going to leave the clue or clues that they've been given in front of them, and the ghost is going to continue building on those clues in future rounds. 
But if a player is correct, they're going to take that card right out of the center of the table and remove it so it's one less card to, to look at to confuse everybody else at the table. Once we finish this phase, we go on to, to right into day two and the ghost just repeats the whole events reconstruction phase once again. So as I mentioned before, once a player guesses correctly, the next round they're going to be getting clues for the next type of card from the ghost. But once they've figured out all of their clues, they're just going to turn their character face down and they're going to basically have succeeded in their portion of the game. So they're just going to help out all the other players until everybody catches up to them. And once all the investigators have found their sets of cards, we're then immediately going to move on to the finale of the game, which is exposing the true culprit. At this point, you can imagine basically these cards get flipped over. All of the successful guesses throughout the game, all the sets of cards for each player, are going to become the final potential culprits here. What's going to happen now is the ghost is going to take his hand of seven dream cards, but this time he's going to choose three, and there's going to be one common dream for all players. Now, so he's going to look through that hand of cards and choose one card for a character, one card for a location, and one card for an item. And again, this is all in sets. So it's basically a one way of looking through his hand of cards and giving clues for each of those things. And so if players can essentially try to line up those three things, and once they've made their decision, they're going to guess on a set of cards. If they're correct, everybody immediately wins the game. If they're incorrect and there are days left here, it's just going to go to the next day and they're going to get another shot. They're going to remove that incorrect answer. But if they don't do it in time, they don't do it by seven days, all the players lose the game. So this really makes for an exciting finale because generally by the time we get to this phase, there's not much time left. There might be one day left because it's, it takes a while to get your clues sometimes. It's a pretty difficult game. Now that mentioned, uh, something I didn't mention earlier is that we're actually playing this on easy, which also affects the number of cards here on the table. So this has to do with player count and number of cards that are out. So if we put this on a harder difficulty, there'd be more potential answers for us to essentially get wrong. And lastly, one thing I want to mention is that based on this difficulty as well, we're playing on easy, it allows the ghost player to once per round basically dump his entire hand of cards and draw another one. And this is, this is kind of a big advantage, but we've, this is a difficult game. We've, we've gotten our butts kicked by this one quite a few times, so we thought we'd just keep playing on an easy for the sake of the video. On higher difficulties, you can only do that like three times a game or sometimes not at all on the really hard difficulties. So the, the more options you have with that deck of dream cards to be able to throw them out and draw them back up again, is, it's a really big deal. So that's pretty much how this game works. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic game. We have a lot of fun with this. It just sparks a lot of discussion in the group, a lot of really creative thinking. It's an absolute blast to try to figure out what clues the ghost is giving to you, or even playing as the ghost and watching as everybody just picks apart the clues you were trying to give them and go in a completely opposite direction. So uh, it's definitely a lot of fun to play. We're going to get into the gameplay now, so stay tuned. But if you have any questions you have about the rules or anything like that, post them in the comments below. And again, we'd love you to play along with us throughout the game. You can pause the video as the cards come up on the screen or just listen to the discussions the players are having. Maybe they'll help you out as well. But we'd love to hear how you do. If you want to post in the comments maybe how your results were as you go throughout the game, we'd love to see it. All right, but with that, we'll get to the game. All right, so uh, we'll get right into this. <coughs> Our Cobra first. Yes. I got one, two, three, four, Mix five, six, it's seven. It's a Lindy. I'm going to go with Monday. That's my guess. So now I'm going to look at my hand of cards here, and we'll probably end up speeding this up in future rounds so you don't have to watch me thinking. But I'm going to choose any number of these cards. I could give four of them to Michelle, and I'm going to draw my hand right back up to seven cards again, and then I could give one to Brian, two to Brian, any number I want to each of them just to kind of help them narrow down. Let me see. I know there's just one and two. <coughs> I'll give Jeremy his first. Ooh, just one? We only just the one. And that can go oh, face yeah, up. Yeah, you So okay. now I think, just go quickly, like, yeah. what, so why did you pick that one, Michelle? Because it's yellow and has animals and she looks like a safari explorer. Alright. I can see that. What else is going I on I can see that, that too. Yeah. It's see. like an ark with a lady in looking at a telescope in a desert with a lion. Yeah, why is there a... Life boats, life rafts. You know how, how you, we do. Are you questioning the there, ark? There's... Well, okay. I may have questioned the ark. <laughs> it's a boat in the middle of the desert with camels and a lion riding a boat. Does that in any way affect what person it could be? No, I think you've got it. Okay. But it also literally has <laughs> a picture right. of a desert. The Egyptian it does, literally, yeah. yeah. She's yeah. like an explorer right. type. So Isaac, why did you pick yours? Um, well, the organ. I'm going to go with the musician. I th Yeah, I mean, that's... Pretty obvious. Pretty yeah, I, I, that's pretty straightforward. I mean, it could <laughs> go in a different direction. I don't know. but I don't think it could go in a different direction. I think that's the most direct one. Yeah, I think it's pretty direct. And Brian, what about yours? Uh, it could have been two, but I went with uh, 
the lady lady in green, and there's a little green on the edge on a piece of cloth. I had a the whole card's green. It's got a ladder and a bunch of rabbits on it. We did toss around that it could be a magician yeah. thing, but yeah, yeah, I think the um, like if it, we're going between one or the other, mm. you know, if someone else is picking that, I'll pick <clears throat> I'll pick the other one. Yeah, I mean, at least my thinking like. Like, the objects in it don't... I mean, other than, yeah, rabbits out of a hat, but, like, besides that, the objects aren't super direct. Where, like, organ mu- musician. Yeah. But the color, the whole card's green. And then she's the only one wearing, like, a full yeah, green. There's, yeah. there's nothing else besides that spot. There's nothing else that would be like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the last one, um, the, what I went with was, like, floating candles, Harry Potter, magician. That was kind of my yeah. thing. I uh, can't really see anything else. There's, like, a bear trap, but I don't see anyone... The only thing, yeah. That maybe this you, guy, because he builds a trap? I don't know. But this is the most direct one, I think. So Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's not a hunter. That's a He's like pilot. A, yeah. yeah. So. All right. So you guys right. also. Okay, cool. I think we're good. I think you're good. All right. So let's see. Um, who got it? Brian and Isaac, you got it. Wow. Okay. Uh, cool. So no one else? No one else. Nope. Just you guys. So Brian and Isaac are white and blue. So take these out. Yep. Those cards can come out. That's good. Put them off the side here. It down. We can put them there because those are going to be the final. Yep. What happens with these? Um, you keep those clue cards. Now Brian's I'm going to keep Isaac's building right. on oh, okay. try to hammer the point home from before. The only thing I could think of is the angels. Hang on, let me see. The only thing I could think of the angels because it's like dark, biling white with a like a uh, a bicycle wheel. There is a wagon wheel there. There is a wagon wheel. An angel looking thing on yeah, top of the got mountain. that. You do. Have, it isn't an angel though. It's a it's a cornucopia. Didn't say angel. I said angelly looking wheel thing. There. It's a cornucopia. Oh okay. Unfortunately, there are archways, archways. I was going to say, this oh, seems like a literal that's what I'm... Yeah, I don't know if those are necessarily angels, because if those are like bats, they might just be white doves. I don't know what those are. It's like, no, good, they're, it's like good versus No, no, no they're, it, they're holding their trumpets. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Or just a bird head. I'm just it, literally watching them pick apart my brain while they're doing this. It's the weirdest it's a, feeling, like... <laughs> is that a, I would say this the, one or this one. If the four of us can't figure out what those are, I don't think a ghost <clears> can figure it out. All right, I think this is like... I mean, you can pick the same one. Dude. That's fine. I mean, I, I I'm can, picking I can, the same one. I can, I, I can see between the arch between story. the arches and and the and the angel angels. I think they're angels. So Brian, what do you? What's your reasoning for picking that card? So go go to you now. Yeah. Brian, I had a. Uh, it was mainly the overall picture was like a uh, a castle, so it's all stonework, mm-hmm. and I see stonework in the back here. Um, so I. I guess there's a little bit here, but it's a majority of it right here, but it's all stonework around, like forgetting like the arches, everything um, like that. It's just cool. That looks Sorry, like a theme. Really so. finished, but I just noticed something as you're talking. So the one thing I do notice that's common between the two, there's a bird in each of them, and mm-hmm. then there's a bird cage in this one. I don't know. Uh, the, fact, oh. the fact that he gave you two at the same time, that is the one common thing that I see between them. No, the oh, tower. Yeah, the, 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 the sh- well, okay. Yeah, the I see the, the towers. Too, so. What shape? The shapes for these, like no, that right, that one card. But does it also share yeah. here? Maybe yeah. the door. Yes, the background here. Those the look thing. like a bunch of bottles. There's stuff in each of them. Yeah, there's like bottles with tops. Do you think a ghost would have known that too? I don't know. Well, I don't know. That's a good I, call. The only thing I see is yeah, I just directly see two birds, and then there's a bird cage. I didn't even see the bottles. That's fine. That's I a, can't figure out. I can figure no. out. I think I can figure out everyone else's. No, that's a good call because it can, we we can't be both of them, but one no, of us could right. be this. But the archways make sense. So yeah, I don't mean that's a you good don't need idea. to pick each. You don't need to do what I say. I, I'm just pointing out. No, if everyone it makes else more sense. Thanks. Well, I was picking it based off of. And the other thing to consider is he did give you two at the same time, right? So yeah, if he wants, if that's at least my yeah. thinking is, if I give you two things, maybe I want you to focus on the similarity. Yeah. Yeah. Two pictures. Yeah. So, good call. Um, so here's mine. Anybody have any ideas? So this he is the first one, which oh, was that was candles. the first one. And then, but they don't the other necessarily thing I saw, relate. There's more candles, but I don't see candles in any of the pictures. Like, am I missing something? Is there candles somewhere? I 
feel like it's the nunny lady. Yeah, the churches have, I don't know why. Churches have a lot of candles. Yeah, and I just, I the second card just feels the same. If that's not a weird yeah, thing to say, yeah, because it's like because like this guy's a race car yeah. driver. It looks like right. That can't. I don't see how that can relate. Maybe this one was like maybe he was going for the trap and like this is more animally. Maybe that one. Oh. Like because the first round maybe uh, he was just going for the trap. That's and then now he's got point. animals. That's a good point. Because, uh, yeah, yeah I, but I think that's my first but again, guess. But. Again, doing the same thing you did here. You have two reoccurring things. <laughs> but those were things, handed to him. You know? Right, but two that's what I'm saying, because this is a different order. Like, the first time he gave me just this. So, right, yeah. I focused on the candles and went with Magician. It was wrong. So yeah. now I'm thinking, okay, maybe it was the trap or the stairs. But there's nothing that I can think of stairs really, but trap. And then, again, now there's more animals. There's a bunch of animals. Yeah, like, okay. That's my, my thought. Okay. Uh, Michelle, what? I just changed my mind. <laughs> All right. So, can um, I see your new card? I can't see it. Yeah. Whoa. It's, it's like a shipwreck. So, that's the thing. is There's no one in a ship, right? I'm not missing something super obvious. My thought that I saw, um, so you have a lion here, and they put another set of two, he gave you another set of two animals, or there's other animals in that. You have two paw prints right here on both sides of the guy. That's true. So. Uh, I don't know if that's... I have the assumption that the ghost... Knows us a little bit. I think that's a fair assumption, right? That the ghost plays to the strengths oh, that don't they know. Like, I'm not the here. <laughs> so. And I think the ghost would be. So, sorry, I missed someone. Remiss was... to think I would notice such a small detail. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were turning it on me for a second, and you were insulting yourself. That's just that's just my so, thought. That's what <laughs> I sorry, saw. I missed it. So, what I... what was your reason for this one? <laughs> Next most logical option, if we think of something in relation to ships, navigation. That this guy's the most navigatory of them all. Oh, I was thinking the inventor for Why? like ships and divers. But that doesn't necessarily and... make any more navigation sense than he he an does aviator get... car Maybe driver. Maybe he thought that was a compass. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he thought it was like compass navigating boat. Brian, that was a really astute observation. If that is in fact the connection we were supposed to make. We're screwed. <laughs> it's it's up it's up to you. What it does is what, what it does is it narrow even if it you, even if you can see really yeah. good correlations between two pictures, <clears throat> you've now narrowed it down to yeah. it's I think this of turn anything, it's turn. these two are the strongest. Yeah. And of those I think the navigator. I'm leaning towards the other guy. Yeah. Um, give me your the, thoughts, Jeremy. Um, I'm trying to figure that out more in depth. Like for the second picture, this big ring thing in that gear. Like Yeah, that was like a, that was direct. initially why I But I'm trying to think of so he gave you this one first. What right. was he going for? I can't Oh, oh. The, the, whatever they call that, the wheel, when you, when you steer a ship, oh. whatever they call that thing. Yeah, the wheel. Steering huh? wheel. Yeah, it's just wheel. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think there's a different name for it. I'm not yeah, sure. well, it's what you steer a ship with. Yeah. No, no, no. So, so now you know it's not this. It's, I know. So my thought is you would ignore these. I know Brian's trying to go with the animal thing. Yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at, if, too. So if that's there and you know it's not that card, and I would say the ignore these. Um, so we know it's not desert. Oh, oh. <laughs> since that's desert and water, I would say it's not like environment based. Um, don't there's move. a gear and like I don't know. This is kind of steampunk ish. Maybe it's maybe I'm okay. leaning towards I'm, that guy. I'm happy consensus wise to move. Why are we laughing? Because I've been. He's spilling the beer all over the table. Of course he did. Can you not get it all over my components that I have to get from Poland? It bubbled it up and <laughs> put his hand off and went. <laughs> Time out. All right. Probably <laughs> ready? Yes. Yes. All right, Jeremy, you're right. Yes. Michelle, you're right. Brian, you're right. Isaac, you're wrong. What? Huh. This may break the rules of the game, but we're going to... I'm going to explain why I chose what I did, because I feel like that's just going to make it more interesting. At this least, could for, be the, making least the for the characters. At least for the people that they're getting. So well, I wouldn't do the location, maybe? because No, no, no. I'm not, not doing anything okay. with the locations, just because until they're all gone. So, uh, Jeremy, you got people. yours. Uh, the trap was for safari, adventure, trap type thing. Did and you miss it just overlooked the, like, that. I, I saw that. thing <laughs> afterwards. I know, I know. And that's the but thing. It's like I'm trying to take so... There's yeah. so much information out there that I can't possibly sift through. Yeah, I played, then, I played your position once and the same oh, thing. Dude. It's same so thing. hard. Michelle, I went with... To be perfectly honest with you, this telescope thing, I went with like the dude with the eye patch thinking like... Like I was thinking like the eye and that would be an association plus a little bit of the steampunk ship thing. The yeah. steampunk thing was a second thought. It was kind of like an afterthought, but the... I saw the telescope with an eye thing, yeah. and I just maybe put it with a dude with the eye patch, just because that was like a big, like, 
I don't know, whatever. Yeah. And then this was just like more gold stuff, like yeah. something to steer with. This is yeah. color, you know, all that yeah. stuff. But anyway. Yeah. When this one was wrong. That's a big that's that's what happened when I played your yeah. position. I'm like, oh my all right, I see the like like you said, you focus on the, the small thing. All right, all right, this Lore is exactly that. They're gonna see it. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh wait, there's a desert in the background. This girl's in the desert. Damn it, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and I, and for that to go back to the first round, since we kinda missed that, um when Brian I, Isaac, the one for you, I mean you obviously got it. it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, it the, was, the, I gave you a organ for a musician. Yeah, that was yeah. easy. And what, Brian, what was yours oh, the yeah. first round? The green girl. Green. It was absolutely. Oh, I couldn't green, believe yeah. it. I mean, and again, we've played this game before, so I was like, color association. Maybe they'll pick it up. But I was like, you guys start talking about hats. I was like, oh no. Yeah. No hats. <laughs> no hats. It's not a hat thing. And you were just like, all right, let's anyway, go. No more talk about locations. I'm gonna pick the next. Doesn't the next good set here. Use the you end or whatever. Slide everything down a little bit. So, birds. So you don't have a starting guess. No. Um, so, I just saw that little thing there. Yeah, I saw that too. That but wheels. there's feathers from the pillow. A lot of bird feathers. Mm. Yeah. Or what's that, coming out of this barrel? That's an angel. That's not a bird. Not, <laughs> I got Science. angels too. No, I like they're birds. Science. I'm thinking the tub is good for yeah. Jeremy, so I'm gonna play the odds off that one. The tub makes sense, yeah. Really? I think so, it's one of the other. You either go with the feathers there, or go with the tiny right. angel there, because you know you have it's true. whatever those could be. If if the ghost thought those were angels, that would make sense. You have a person with wings, person with wings. Is that a person? Can I see? I can't see. You. I don't know. This is the same. It it's actually an angel. In this a, one. a thing with They're wings. angels. A thing with wings. I think so, they are angels. I, it's basically the same character. Char it's either that or characters. feathers. No, I mean, I this is what I was thinking, except Michelle That's okay. No, it. don't. That's yeah. not the thing that has to Remember decide Remember when we did it? Yeah, and my first one, the first <laughs> thing I saw was the wheel, and there's also a wheel right there. Like, on his first round, mm -hmm. I saw that. And then also, yeah, there's the angel, which I just noticed. This and round. the birds, it's a forest. I'm going with it. Okay. I like it. So, Michelle, I can't even see your card. What is... Oh, it's a last ditch. Yeah, but it, so it's like flowers and green. And Geometric green. shapes. Yeah. I went with that based on coloring as a place to start. Yeah. I don't have a strong thought. Um, I, I, I leaned it. toward this originally just based on coloring and just as a place to start. Mm -hmm. um, I agree that it's more likely Isaac's than mine. You, you yeah. just give so, him one card? So, yes. So they're just like like weird glass looking. Flower. They look kind of like I'm, glass maybe. I'm so thinking yeah. like. Those. <clears throat> ge uh, I'm thinking geometric, like science -y. And going with the science oh, yeah. barrel, they yeah. all they do kind of look like glass, and there's a bunch of glass items. The most is, is it? there, like oh, there's like glass like on string. top. Oh, yeah. No, it's glasses. it's a chemistry. Set. I'm looking at it yeah. now, and I see it's a chemistry. Because yeah, it may it yeah, may I think, think that's of fair. window, but you got a bunch of them with it. But that looks like a, a good choice. And then this one is the tub. Tub is like the most prominent thing. Yeah, You're I go with that. Oh, Brian, we need to talk about Brian. I. Fully agree with you. That was the first thing I thought when he put that card down. Also, yeah, and it's also got. Had, it's also got a green background. I had three choices, but my first, my first one, first my person was a uh, was themed by color, so I'm going on a hunch of maybe. Yeah. This is also themed like on it, it. so. Yeah, gold, it's gold got, and gold. It's got like a golden. No, no all, the green. Okay. The green background and the green background. I just the noticed gold. The, gold. the gold. Yeah, oh. even more to reinforce it. It's similar yeah. object. Who is correct? Jeremy, you are right. Yeah, 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 tubs. And it absolutely was the bathtub. Yeah. Absolutely was the bathtub. You sure? It absolutely was, yeah. I'm pretty sure. That was like, I was like, man, I hope I he gets it. I don't understand how your brain works. Um, you didn't see the bathtub in this one? Versus... No, I did. Okay. Oh, then you uh, understand. Brian, you were right as well. Wow, this object Brian's all done. For the exact same reason. Gold, I actually went with gold first because oh, really? it was kind of gold and shiny. Yeah, and then I, I saw like, the huh. green background. I was like, that's going to work out nicely. Huh. Let's see who else. Isaac, you are white. Isaac, you're incorrect. Damn it. Michelle, you're right. Uh, Michelle's yours was very difficult because I kind of went with it was kind of a crapshoot because the the flowers with the glass. I kind of was like glass chemicals, you know, components for like. You stuff. and Jeremy I, have I the same brain. Nothing left. I had nothing left, but my <clears> hand was <throat> junk, and I'm like, there's nothing that matches that. But that, that's exactly what I was thinking. I, when you, I was I thought, like, they're yeah. never going to draw that comparison. But like you said, the glass thing, I was like, yes, yes, that's it. Go for it. <laughs> so, all right, we're on day four. All right, so who guessed? Everybody's uh, everybody's on objects now, right? So Except for Isaac, who is white. So these two can go over here. Brian is all and done. Brian is all done, yeah. You can just 
talk to us about it. Yeah, Brian. I feel like that was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> what, getting all of them for you? Basically, one, two, three? Usually, usually I'm by day that seven. That man. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to make mine a discussion, and we're going to talk about it first. It's like a guy in a stagecoach train wearing a Phantom of the Opera mask. And there's it's actually a Commedia dell'arte mask. With a lamp and a lizard and some smoke and some cactuses. It's purple cacti. and gold. I got, I got two that I think it might be. I, the lamp is the most obvious one for the lamp mm-hmm. and light. And then, isn't that, isn't that like the, I don't know what time period it was, but... Isn't that like a medicine guy or a healer of some sort? Uh, no, that's... At some that's point. A, like they wear the mask with a long bird nose or something? 14th century Italian. Yeah, but it doesn't yeah. matter what it was. Didn't it exist? It was yeah, but it was from 14th century Italian But it theater. existed. And if, yeah, but not ghost, as a doctor. If the ghost in Assassin's <laughs> Creed nor, is, nor is Matt going to be thinking about... In Assassin's 14th, Creed, it's the doc- guy that sells you stim packs. Oh, that's true. I was thinking of the medicine mm-hmm. for that. But I go with the, the lamp for light first. What is this? It's like, a, it's like an oxygen pump? tank or some oxygen. kind of no, gas it's, tank. No, it's a fire extinguisher. Uh, it's an old school fire extinguisher. I thought fire extinguisher had like hand pumps on them. What, how did that one work? Twist the top of them? <laughs> and Jeremy's like, hey, explain to me the engineering of this. Probably just go with it. It has a pump top right there. A probably pump just top go with it. has a spinning top. <laughs> no, it has a pump. The pump is in the middle. Of the spin- it's that thing around it is how you carry it. And then the pump is in the oh, middle. Oh, like you lift up and push yeah. it down? You think the ghost okay. would know that, or do you think it looks like a gas tank? I mean, it's a I copper tank, and I would go with that. Strongly about the candelabra, also, but only because I don't feel strongly about anything else. It's the only thing I have any feelings toward at all. All right, so mine, uh, I think, is relatively straightforward. I just I noticed it. There's a girl shooting a gun at this dude. Right ah, I didn't even see that in previous games we played. I didn't even notice there was a gun there. Huh. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. He also appears to be getting like shining blooded and guns. With me. So, hopefully he was going for the gun. I, I didn't notice it till this game. I'm Maybe going you know with it. it. The only thing that's left, the pillow with goose feathers, which is so like what? birds, because feathers I have birds and or or um, bird like uh, creatures. Bird like creatures in all of my cards, and a harp for the um, what strings. I think are angels and angels and, and Jesus. string and, and angels and, and Jesus and. Yeah, all of them are, yeah, almost all of my cards are good against evil, like, themed, but I, I, I it's, I, whatever. If it's, if it's the, the doll in the, the in the, in the, uh, you know. I think the other thing is, the so they're all flying, and flying is outdoors, it's had windows. Just Big bloody red pool. Big bloody red pool. That's a blanket. I agree. No, but. Yeah. Big bloody pool. It's a pool. I'm with Isaac. I mean, it's the only thing. It's or all I got. Isaac, Brian. It's all I got. It's all I got. Go with it. I'll just stick it with it. Okay. All, all right, right done. done. Jeremy, you man. Yes. 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 Awesome. Totally, totally. I was looking at that card in my hand, and I was trying to find out a time to play it. Right, and I thought, like, that gun shooting is really subtle. I'm going to hang on to that because I knew the gun clue was coming for you, so I was holding on to it for that reason. So I was like, that's a card i got to save. I didn't want to do a hand dump. Remember, I did my hand dump right after you, basically, because I knew yeah. <clears throat> I wanted to hang on to that. Yes. Isaac, you're right. Yay! Yeah. So yeah. the reason the first card I gave you was like these guys kind of battling it out, right? Yeah, the white, yeah, yeah. The white, the, uh, these two guys, good I was kind of putting evil. like they're sort of bird-like. So there was feathers. They were like fighting, and there was blood from the battle. And then there was like angelish-looking things here, and I put and the cross was up there. Right, so that was the biggest. Like, you didn't notice there were angels on the three other cards that were on the board. So was everybody? Well, those got that was the first card I played. I know. Oh, no, that's... Again, in, in the rooms. Like After really that like, first one got played, oh, okay. I was like, I totally understood the confusion. Yeah. That's the hard part, is like, you you pay attention. You're like, this this connection is really, really solid, but then there's five other cards out there that have yeah. something like... You guys are like, oh, what about the wheel? I'm like, crap. But you na- you started narrowing it down. Exactly. Like, the more you put down, we started narrowing it down right. to, yeah. to eventually two, but, you know. The strings was a good one. Was that what you were thinking in this one? It was more just, like, throwing as many things with Wing. wings and feathers as I could to get Whoops. the feathers. No, but that was... I, I mean, <laughs> no, that was... Ryan, a, you were right. That We've made them that obscure before, for sure. That's but what happens, just, you know? One person thinks it's I was like, like these guys are battling it out, you stuff. know? I'm thinking, these guys are battling it out, and, you know, they've got wings, and there's feathers, and there's blood. Okay. Yeah. And that's Michelle's and Michelle, you're incorrect. 
Mm, okay. Stuck Incorrect. So yeah. everybody's got their. So Jeremy's all done, good right? Yep, yep. Right so it's just Isaac and Michelle turning. Isaac and Michelle getting objects. So we got. We're on day five. 